What's the world's greatest lie? The boy asked, completely surprised. It's this, that at a certain point in our lives, we lose control of what's happening to us, and our lives become controlled by fate. That's the world's greatest lie. Yaho, YouTube! I am Super Genki! And in today's video, I'm going to tell you how I feel about Spain. I've lived in Spain for about a month and a half now. And I can very firmly say that the honeymoon phase of my experience is over. America! 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 But Super Genki, what is the honeymoon phase? Glad you asked, YouTube. The honeymoon phase is that first couple of weeks you're in a new place where you're taking in a lot of stimulus around you. Everything is new, so you're experiencing everything in a different lens of perception. Don't stop me now, having such a good time, I'm having a ball. Yeah, that phase for me is over. So now I can more calmly analyze my choice of coming to Spain. I still hold true that I made the right decision. I actually made a video about it. You can click the caption up here to watch that video talking about making decisions and how when you're serious about doing something, you have to make a serious decision to act upon what you're doing. Even if in the short run, you know that like first hundred meter dash, you don't see the results you want. You have to learn to keep the faith and treat what you're doing as a marathon, not as a hundred meter dash. This formula can be applied to anything you want to learn or anything you want to do. I'll give you an example. If you had asked me where I would be right now, a year ago, I never would have said Spain. What I would have said is working on my book, working on my YouTube videos, working on personal development and working on self-improvement. When you have the idea in mind of what you want to do and you keep working on it, those ideas will take you places. Way back in the day, I thought Japan was going to be the final destination. I thought I was literally going to spend 10 consecutive years in that country. That was the paradox of the destination. That somehow, before putting in the work, before putting in the time, before putting in the effort, you have a clear vision of what the destination is going to be. But what I've learned through the path that I've taken is that what you think the destination is right now is more often than not a glimpse of what the destination could be. But YouTube, you know, I really do think that in order to surpass your limits, you have to put in effort. You really have to try. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. I almost didn't want to come to Fujisan because on Friday, real talk, it was like... It's just unrealistic to expect that you can see the end goal without having put in the work, the time, and the effort to actually go down that path. And you never know where it's going to take you, YouTube. You never know where that path is going to lead you. For my whole life, I didn't want to speak Spanish. I wanted to speak Japanese. And that desire took me to Japan twice. And then, when I got back to America, I started wanting to learn Spanish. Having the experience of chasing after one of my desires to another country really helped me out with chasing this desire to a new country. And that's the path that you will take when you decide to improve yourself. Was coming to Spain the right choice for my future goals? I don't know. I have experienced so much in this country that I would not have been able to experience in America that it's really gotten me thinking about this idea of choice. It's really easy to think to ourselves that we don't have a choice or that our choices are irrelevant. If you've read this book before, The Alchemist, there's a line on page, I think I underlined it. Let me see if I can find it right now. 
Um, yeah, on page 18, it's right in the beginning of the book. I'm going to read it to you. It says, what's the world's greatest lie? The boy asked, completely surprised. It's this, that at a certain point in our lives, we lose control of what's happening to us and our lives become controlled by fate. That's the world's greatest lie. I've said before, I'm going to say it again, the path to self-improvement is not a 100 meter dash. Just because you make the decision to be positive today doesn't mean things are going to change tomorrow because it's the path less taken. The path more taken by people is believing that their lives are completely up to fate and the choices that they make do not have an impact on the direction they're headed in. And that's why I make these videos, because I'm taking the path less taken, and I want to show you what it's like to be here. So you need to dream. Mm -hmm. Yes. You need to dream. Like, people don't want to dream anymore. And you can't write beautiful music or enjoy life. I usually without dream, dream every day. Dreaming is awesome, right? <laughs> that's, 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 that's why I love sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me play for you a good, uh, a happy song? Yeah, sure. Right. Happy yes. song? Yes. yes. Sure, there are moments where life is hard, and I don't want to make a YouTube video, and I feel really lonely. But most of the time, if you're aware enough to realize that your choices do matter, that sticking to the decision to improve yourself will take you somewhere, most of those times, you'll find yourself in a place you wouldn't have been able to imagine a year prior. I kind of just got into this whole like pathfinder mode but what I wanted to say in this video was that Spain is actually really cool. Spain has been a dream for me. A little dream, because I'm already here. But it was only a dream because I made it a dream through five months of preparation, thinking about going every day. No matter what your dream is, YouTube, you can achieve it. You can choose the path less taken, and it will make all the difference. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. I'm 24 right now. I only have one year left. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.